You may have noticed them while at a park or a field. Gypsy moth caterpillars are back, but some local experts say this year isn't as bad as the past. Our Roslyn Flaherty joins us now to explain. Roslyn. Olivia, experts say the damp spring created a fungus that kills the cat caterpillars, and although the numbers are down, they are still out eating the trees. Gypsy moth caterpillars cling to this birch tree at Tower Hill Botanic Garden. They're definitely here. Some areas are worse than others. The caterpillars are out, but the garden says they actually aren't seeing as many as in years past. Last year, um, when we had sort of a wetter period, um, really sort of decreased the numbers quite a bit. The Department of Conservation and Recreation says a damp spring helps grow a soil borne fungus, which kills off the caterpillars. The days it rains, it may not be fun for you going outside, but it's very good for killing caterpillars. Forester Nicole Kelleher says in 2017, more than 900,000 acres of trees were impacted across the state by the insects. It was the largest outbreak since the early 80s. It is a very large area impacted, but not all of that was completely defoliated. Some had minimal defoliation on certain trees. Some had complete defoliation on all trees. She says even though this year is less widespread, they are seeing pockets of defoliation, particularly in the last week because the caterpillars are becoming larger. A lot more trees starting to stand out. And this year it's mostly in oaks. Kelleher says it's a little too late for people to treat their trees, but says the good news is the caterpillars are nearing the end of their life cycle and will soon turn into moths. You just have to hold out a few more weeks until they're done. Now Kelleher says, that, says they will be collecting data over the next few weeks to see how much damage they have caused across the state. Rosalind Flaherty, Worcester News Tonight.